Here are some business accounts that you should be familiar with. We begin with asset accounts. Now recall, assets are what the business owns. Cash. Now that is money in the bank or they may hold money in the business just to pay small bills. Both those together are accounted for under the account called cash. Accounts receivable. Now the business has a number of customers that deal with them on a regular basis every month. So we allow them to purchase, but not pay us at the time of the purchase, but pay us later at the end of the month. So they have an account with us, and when we provide them with the goods or service, we earn an accounts receivable. Inventory represents all the items the business has that is for sale to a customer. That's all type of inventory, merchandise inventory, and so on that's available for sale. Supplies. The business may have office supplies or cleaning supplies. Those are supplies that are on hand to be used and that is an asset. Prepaid insurance. Quite often when you buy an insurance policy you must pay a year in advance. So at the time you buy the policy you have purchased an asset that you will use up over the course of the year. That asset is called prepaid insurance. If you have to prepay the rent, that too will be an asset. Equipment represents computers or machines that are used in the business. Vehicles, any kind of de delivery trucks or uh, cars that are used in the business are under the account called vehicles. If the business owns a building, that would be in a separate account. Uh, from the land if it owns the building and the land together. So there are some asset accounts. Contrast that with some of the liabilities. Now liabilities is what the business owes. Accounts payable. Now we deal with a number of different suppliers on a regular basis so we have an account with them and when we purchase from them we will pay them later. Paying them later means I have incurred an accounts payable. Now that is contrasted with a notes payable. If I don't pay my account in accounts payable, the person cannot take me to court. But if I give a person a note payable, that note states I promise to pay by the end of the year. And if I don't promise to if I don't pay by the end of the year, that person who is owed the money can then take me to court. A mortgage payable, when a business buys a building, and borrows money in order to do it, that money is usually provided by a mortgage company. So this is called a mortgage. That is a loan that is against a business. That also makes a, a bank loan. is a loan that I may take out short term for one or two or three years to buy a vehicle. A mortgage would be something like 10 or 20 years. A bank loan would be one to three years. Notes payable would be months. Accounts payable one month. I have to pay at the end of each month. Salaries payable, I may have to pay in a week. Now, unearned revenue. Don't confuse this. Many students think that it's revenue, it's a revenue account. No. Unearned revenue happens when I accept money from a customer prior to selling the customer the product or delivering the service. Because I accepted the money, I now have a liability to provide the product or service or return the money. So that, when that situation happens, I use an account called unearned revenue. The third category of accounts are the shareholders equity accounts. Now, common stock. That represents the amount of money invested by the owners of the business into the business. The owners invested money in the business. The business provided them with common stock. Now, retained earnings. Now, that's an account where we summarize the revenue and expenses and dividends. So let's go to that. First of all, we have revenue accounts. There are only about three or four of them. Salaries or sales revenue, if the company sells a product. Service revenue, if a company also provides a service. Interest revenue, if the company has investments that provide them with interest, then we uh, re those in what's called an interest revenue account. 
some of the expenses of course the company may have rent expense salaries expense supplies expense we've used up some of the supplies that we had as assets insurance expense we have used up some of the prepaid insurance and any other kind of expense advertising expense marketing all of those delivery expense all come under a separate expense account under the general heading of expenses now this is a corporation that is owned by shareholders and when we have a profit because revenue is greater than expenses revenue minus expenses equals net profit and when we have a profit that increases retained earnings but the money belongs to the corporation but the corporation can decide to pay the shareholders some of those earnings and when that happens we use an account called dividends we say the company has declared a dividend that means they're going to pay of five dollars per share or five to whatever they're going to pay that amount of money to the shareholders and so there's a summary of all the different types of accounts you will encounter in this course